Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. All honor, glory, and praise be to our one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, um, I was driving down the ha the highway and I was looking and uh, when I looked to my left, I saw this old house right here. I don't know if you all can see it. It's most likely private property, so I really don't want to walk on it let me see how close i can get um that's an old house i oh my gosh it's like in ruins um and um it got me to thinking about um well the thought had crossed my mind about people who um when you leave this world how the things that you have obtained um in this life is left behind you know i can't help but think you know that there were once people that lived in that house and now they are i don't know if they're deceased i would think because that's a that's a really old house so i'm sure that the original occupants are deceased and i really don't like to go on um, people's property or anything I, I don't do that if i don't know the person but I'm trying to um, get you guys to see the condition of this house right here. I don't know if you all can see. It's right there in the middle. Um, let me see how close I can get. Hang on. You guys see? It's right there. And um, the people that live there, you know, if they're deceased and most likely the original occupants probably are because look at that house but um i want to tell you that nothing in this world is forever because i'm sure that was a time when people were probably in that house cooking and cleaning and going about their daily activities and now you know look at the condition of that house and uh i just wanted you all to know that this life it really is temporary um nothing is meant to last forever in this world um this world is temporary it wasn't god's original intent no but hey i know i talk about adam a lot but hey when adam sinned it changed things okay and um i also want to talk to you all about because this is kind of going to be a double message i want to talk about your anointing and other people's insecurities surrounding it and I want you to know that when you are somebody that is a public speaker you most likely speak in and I think the word is authoritative manner you so you speak with authority and you advise people I want you to know that there will be people that will be threatened by you and because you speak with so much authority that Sometimes um, people will want to tell you what to do because they feel like, well, you're telling everybody else what to do. So I'm going to tell you what to do because you're making me feel insignificant. So I just want you to know, and I'm talking about from the perspective of the person that um, is threatened by your presence. I want you to know that's something that you may face when you are somebody that's a public speaker or if you are... Uh, somebody doing something for the Lord, you know, you, you're very outspoken, you're speaking the truth. That, and, and see, the thing about it is people do things and they think that people who have the spirit of discernment can't read them like an open book, and we can. And um, another point I wanted to touch, uh, case in point is this. If somebody that is not on your level tells you what to do, and they say it in a manner like as if as if they had some sort of authority over you. They are basically conducting themselves that way because you make them feel inferior by what you do. So they feel like, well, let me tell you what to do because you made me feel small because of what you do. Are y'all following me? Okay, so that's something just to be on your P's and Q's about. Especially you, especially you brothers and sisters in the Lord out there that, you know, um maybe public speakers and for people that are public speakers they they already know the game if they've been in the game for a while they know what i'm talking about you know like somebody will tell you 
oh no, don't do it this way, do it that way. They're just doing that because you carry a spirit of authority. So they feel like, well, let me tell you what to do since you want to tell everybody else what to do. And I don't do what anybody tells me to do. I may, you know, like, even if I acknowledge a little bit what they're saying, I do what I want to do the way I want to do it. Nobody tells me what to do. You could tell me, but I don't have to do it. You know, that's the way I look at it. But anyway, that's just another little something, you know, that I, I experienced on the battlefield, and I feel like maybe that'll help somebody. And then another thing to look out for, especially for you sisters, are people that will pretend to be you to try to win you. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know how a person will hide their true character until they think they've got you hooked? And you know how maybe when you ladies were very young or if it was your first relationship or first experience with a man, you know how, you know how they'll fool you. You know what I'm saying? You'll think, oh, he's different than the other guys and he's so nice and he's so this and he's so that until you trigger that joker and you see a side of him that you didn't know existed. Okay, you may not have been hip to the game when you were young ladies and that may, you, that may or may not have been your experiences. But once you become a seasoned sister, and I'm talking to ladies of any ethnicity, and you even see a hint of, a, of that sign of a red flag, because it's going to be there. Head for the heels. <laughs> even if you're not involved with the person, you have no interest in the person at all, you need to cut somebody like that off because somebody like that is um, provoking, can, has the potential to provoke you to anger. Because if they, if they come out of their mouth wrong, if they come at you wrong, you know if you're the type of person that's hot-tempered and you don't take no mess, you know that you have the potential to set it off. So that's another little something that um, I experienced. Um, people who wear a mask and they act and they perform lights, camera, action. But see, that's another thing that the devil fails to realize is that the children of God, most of us have the spirit of discernment. We have the gift of discernment. If you ever want to know who you're dealing with, ladies, keep talking to them. Keep talking to them because eventually I'm telling you the facade is going to come down. Now, I hope that was something that helped somebody along the way, okay? To keep you guys on your P's and Q's because I'm telling you, don't too much get by me because see, like I said, Father and I, we're never separated. I don't have to go get Father. He's always with me, okay? And um, let me see if there's any other um, thing I want to stress on the field. Um, yeah, one more thing. Anybody that, um, for you guys out there that if you ever had a valley experience, whether if you're male or female, anybody that um, didn't sit with you in the valley, don't take them to your mountaintop, okay? So with that said, God bless you all until next time. I hope something that I've said has assisted you. Bye-bye. Isn't it nice out here?